Well, hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanalay the Dawn. I remain, I'm your host, Chet, if you're a 333, and we're going to start out this exhibition match stream with a match between Snugglebase and Lamadeus on Titan Duel. This is a bit of a longer match, so just so you know in advance, I have sped up the game a little bit, because it's apparently like 40 minutes, so I don't want to... Let's just, just deal with this as it comes. Anyway... Snugglebase going for Shieldbot Factory, Lamadeus going for the Hovercraft Factory, and Lamadeus already starting out very quickly with a bit of a raiding party, while Snugglebase getting a couple bandits, but they appear to be more defensive. The Dirtbag is being used instead for the offense. And Lamadeus going very quickly, getting up their energy, not getting as much metal as quickly. Snugglebase, on the other hand, seems to be a bit more focused on getting metal, not as much energy. They want their metal in their army quick. Actually, at this point, it will be rather difficult for Lamadeus to get in on Snugglebase, but I don't think... I don't know how much Lamadeus cares. Their economy is healthier than Snugglebase's, and Snugglebase... I mean, they're trying to deal with... Like, the fact that there's a few daggers coming around, but really it's not all that bad. At any rate, though, Lamadeus is getting set up with a decent enough army that should be able to deal with the bandits should they come forward. I think Lamadeus, Lamadeus right now... They'll probably just be expanding a bit. It doesn't look like either player's gone for a particularly aggressive strategy. They're both just making sure that they can't easily be raided. Like, Lamadeus tried a little bit over the north, got hit by the defender. So, neither player appears to be too keen on raiding. They just want to get their territory set up. That being said, though, scouting has been done on both sides. Snugglebase and Lamadeus have a bit of an idea of what the other one's up to. Snugglebase getting another dirt bag. I guess they want to go for some scouting along the northern side, having already figured out the southern, and that is exactly what's happening. Go along the north side, probably jump down in the back. At the same time, though, Snugglebase starting to put a little bit of pressure onto Lamadeus. Trying to find some opening, and yeah, they're going for a pretty heavy raid. Eight bandits already inside of Lamadeus' base. Lamadeus should be able to, to completely push this away. This set of daggers here will probably be enough. I think it's going to come down to tactics, though, but... Snugglebase doesn't even want to risk it at this point. They are, however, still going to engage. The Dirtbag taking the majority of the damage. I mean, that was kind of a waste in the scouting front, but still, Dirtbags are cheap enough. It's not a big deal. But in this time, Snugglebase and Lamadeus have evened out their economy. However, over to the south side, Lamadeus is coming in with quite a few daggers, so Snugglebase's commander is still in a bit of a tight spot. At any rate, right now, Lamadeus, I'd say they have a bit of a stronger hold in their territory. Their, their firebase to the north is considerably better defended than Snugglebase's equivalent. Snugglebase, they I mean, they have some energy out there, but that's another thing. Their energy is actually kind of vulnerable, as is one of the workers already going down. So Lamadeus might be getting the first... There it is. There's the first worker kill. Not might be, will be getting the first worker kill. As Snugglebase... Well, they struggle to defend this, but at the same time, their commander got, coming under heavy atta attack as well... And Lamadeus already taken out a couple metal extractors, taken out a few bandits that are trying to defend, and the bandits that were going up front coming back to get rid of the daggers, but at the same time, Snugglebase already losing a fair amount of economy just in the front. I mean, they've already lost five metal per second compared to their opponent. Which is a bit of a blow, but at the same time, there there is reclaim. That's about 300 metal worth of reclaim, so that's nice. That is quite the switch around, but at the same time, Lamadeus did manage to get a bit of a metal advantage on destruction. Snugglebase coming in with a possible counterattack, being careful from the looks of it to avoid getting too close to the defender, but still trying to apply as much pressure as they can without putting themselves in the line of fire of static defense. At the same time, though, Lamadeus is starting to take the southwest as well, trying to provide a bit of a threat there with the defender up front, and the daggers coming into the side, right at the side of the forces. That is pretty much the best way daggers can be used. But even then, enough bandits are able to get rid of the daggers and even with the scalpel support, the scalpel won't be able to last that long against all these bandits coming in. This will be a suicide mission for the bandits, but it will also get rid of a lot of Lamadeus' army in the process and a fair bit of their defensive player here, but not enough. Not able to get rid of any of the quills. Able to get rid of one of the defenders, but not both, nor the Lotus. Still, that was quite a blow. Lamadeus losing all of their daggers, losing all of their... almost all their scalpels. Just about losing their scalpels. Holy crap, this one's at 1 HP. <laughs> That was remarkably close. Actually, as it is, Snugglebase's commander just going in. Doesn't even care anymore. Wow, that Lotus. 
And Snugglers' commander's move there was possibly a massive mistake. This looks like these scalpels will be able to take them out, but... No, thanks to the bandits coming in here, it's not quite, quite gonna happen. On the other hand, maces, which we never see used, finally getting used, and this is where I expect Snuggle Base to switch over to rogues. Hopefully they're not trying to do another game for science where they just use one type of unit the entire time, and in this case, just use bandits. And no, they already have roaches over the top, so they are not just using bandits. They actually are quite prepared for this specific dagger rush, and... Ooh, this is gonna be nice for Snuggle Base. It's gonna be really bad for Lamadeus. Gonna lose all their daggers, but... Ooh. Did they realize what's happening? Oh, they must have realized what was happening. I don't know how, or at least they just guessed that this is a better approach angle, but it was. Just avoided that roach. And these daggers, again, should be able to take out a couple of convicts. Possibly if... Well, it looks like metal extractor, at least. And, okay, now they're going over the roach. Now they're gonna die. There we go. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. So, yeah, Lamadeus was wise in their initial approach angle, but... Unfortunately for them, not in the ultimate approach angle, or the departure angle. Their exit strategy was not quite as well thought out. And anyway, rogues are coming up, so Snuggleways should be able to deal with these scalpels without too, or at least the maces without too much issue. The scalpels as well. Although losing all these bandits over here in the defenses isn't necessarily that wise. Snugglebase is still behind an economy, and Lamadeus is getting further and further ahead by attrition. At the same time, though, territory-wise, Snugglebase is starting to get a nice position. I mean, they've broken up a lot of what Lamadeus had built up to secure the center of the map. And the commander is coming under quite heavy threat. So that's a bit of a gambit coming out from Snuggle Base here, but it could pay off. And at the same time, the rogues keeping the scalpels at bay, well, scalpels and the mace to an extent, but the mace isn't even really bothering. Oh, I see. He's going over to the north to try to, to some extent, stop what was coming in here, but that was already stopped. The, the Stardusts were in place. They did stop the bandits. The rogues, not so much, though. And everything being forced over to the northern side of the map, I don't see Lamadeus going for an attack over to the southwest, even though the southwest is really vulnerable right now. They're much too concerned about the rogues trying to take out the Stardusts, and that is... Ooh, just in range, too. Just out of range of the Stardust. Not entirely surprising that that is what you'd expect, but that's gonna suck for Lamadeus, losing both of their Stardusts basically for free, along with possibly both of their maces, trying to find some angle to get in here, and it looks like the angle of choice is gonna be moving the commander in. Using that as a bit of a threat, and Lamadeus' commander unupgraded, by the way. So at this point, the Southwest is taking a bit of fire, but there's enough here that Snuggle Base has. Their army is large enough that it's actually working out, and even though they did have an economic disadvantage for a while, a lot of the attrition that was happening... I mean, Snuggle Base did lose quite a few units, but they managed to take out Lamadeus' army while maintaining their army's presence. Like... Yeah, in terms of metal count, sure, but that's actually kind of surprising when I think of it, that that's working out. I'm trying to figure that out, because right now, Snuggle Base is breaking Lamadeus' northeast. And is holding the southwest pretty well. But Lamadeus lost a lot of static defenses. They didn't even have much of an army that they were losing. They did lose their army, but... Yeah, the economic advantage seems to have gone more into maces, which are quite expensive. Like maces and scalpels. So that's 1,400 metal there, but say this is only 1,800 metal. Like, this group here, it's less value for these bandits and rogues, but they'd be able to deal with the army that Lamadeus has. So Snuggle Base, despite the lack of metal efficiency, is actually doing a pretty good job getting units that'll actually counter. At least until this fight here, I think these daggers will get the upper hand pretty convincingly. Oh yeah, they're totally going to get the upper hand convincingly. This might be the bigger mistake coming in here. Snuggle Base forced to retreat a little bit in the northern side, and the rogues not managing to do a whole lot of damage to the maces. Doing some. They are getting rid of them eventually, but... A lot of missed shots are causing issues. The maces are managing to dodge them. But still, Snuggle Base defending fairly well. The only problem, of course, is that there is still this attack over in the southwest that has no real answer. The answer appears to be Snuggle Base just going in for a counterattack. Trying to break through Lamadeus' north side and hope for the best. But right now, Lamadeus just going for heavy dagger forces. I mean, considering that the attrition's about the same and Lamadeus isn't building static defenses anymore, this is actually going to be rather difficult for Snuggle Base to deal with unless they start managing to get their economy back on track and start reclaiming. Because right now, Snuggle Base is starting to fall back. Like their, main, their main hope right now is just to be more efficient in terms of counters. 
and they haven't got any outlaws or anything to deal with the daggers effectively, and they're going to lose all the rogues right here over to the north. That's going to be a massive blow. That'll open up the entire north side to Lamadeus and probably allow for a counterattack on the metal extractors built over to the north side of the map. At the same time, some revenge in the southwest, that is opening things up, but Lamadeus is also reclaiming the center, which that's still what Snugglebase wants on top of that. So Snugglebase is not getting their economy quite as healthy as they'd like, and these daggers are going to be a problem. Like, Snugglebase's bandits are trying, they're not doing a terrible job. But they are going to have a bit of a tough time just for the sheer number of daggers and the way that their splash tends to work. At this point, though, the north side seems to be relatively safe, or at least Lamadeus is not attacking it. That's the like that's the thing I thought it was going to happen because Lamadeus basically broke open the north side by by destroying all those rogues. But they're not going for the attack there. They're instead going for the attack on the more defended southwest. Actually, losing one of their quills in the process, a little carelessly, unfortunately for them, but fortunately for Snugglebase. So I expect Snugglebase might go for some reclaim here. They do have a bit of reclaim going on here. Not much, only about 5 per second. But actually, it does put them ahead. Lamadeus has taken a lot of damage. Those early attacks and the swing of the metal extractor is actually starting to pay off. As well as losing the quills that were reclaiming. That's a huge blow, too. That was a lot of Lamadeus' economy. Like, Lamadeus has been reclaiming a lot more efficiently than Snuggle Base. And also putting a lot more production in there. I mean, there's only about 25 build power over here, or no, 30 build power over here. Lamadeus is like 50, so Lamadeus can easily deal with all this reclaim. Snugglebase, on the other hand, they're not accessing, but they aren't using the reclaim as efficiently as they could be. That being said, though, breaking up so much of Lamadeus' economy by destroying all these quills. How many quills are even left? Only four, three left! So, as it stands, Lamadeus is still in a strong position, and with the felon, that's, that's another good idea. Gets rid of the daggers effectively. It's a bit faster. Obviously a bit more shield setup, but still, once you have it, that's what happens. Of course, the halberds are going to be the problem. That's exactly the counter. This is kind of why I was pointing out outlaws. Because that's exactly the thing that deals with daggers while not being completely stuffed by... Well, okay, it's sort of stuffed by halberds, but not completely stuffed by halberds. Like, Felon cannot deal with any heavy units, so that's not going to work out at all. However, Snugglebase has still got a fairly secure position. Although Lamadeus did manage to take the northeast, Snugglebase still has a relatively secure northwest chunk of the map and does appear to have center control actually fairly strong center control the only thing they really need right now is to have a couple more caretaker well maybe a caretaker or convicts oh the convicts are doing all right that's 40 build power not bad still lamadeus is in a position that they can use their reclaim much faster so lamadeus is still building their army a little bit more efficiently but right now their territory is not doing that well snuggle base can retake and they are in fact moving to retake the northeast They've got a relatively strong position on the southwest if they just push it. And these rogues here should be able to push it all the way into the southwest, actually. If they're careful enough. If they don't get hit by the stinger, that's the biggest problem here. That stinger is going to be completely stuffing that push to the southwest. If Snugglebase manages to get both the northeast and the southwest, they should have the game. But as it is, I don't really see that happening in a hurry. I mean, both players are just sort of posturing around the the center the center eastern side of the map. No one's really going for anything right now. Actually, never mind. Lamadeus is going for a sneaky attack over to the southwest. That could be a blow, but at the same time, the star the Stardust here still able to get rid of a scalpel for well, the cost of its life. But getting rid of one scalpel is a nice bit of reduction of force multiplication coming in from Lamadeus' side. And Lamadeus, again, forced back, not really able to do much damage. This is kind of grinding into a stalemate. Again, another attack to the northeast, but Lamadeus... Actually, Lamadeus should be able to deal with this more effectively. Especially getting rid of the convicts right off the bat. I'm not sure... Oh, they weren't even paying attention. Snuggle base, no, you're losing convicts! Oh, that's... that is painful. But the Southwest has been taken, actually has been retaken. A bunch of bandits coming in here. Bit of a suicide mission again, but if they can get rid of the Penetrator, that could be worth it. And get rid of the Scalpels as well, but it looks like the Penetrator's gone, which is nice. And there's the Southwest Assault I was talking about. I was wondering when that was going to happen, and there it is. But at the same time, a Northeast Counter Assault coming in from Lamadeus, breaking open Snuggle Base, and Lamadeus still has much more efficient reclaim. Snuggle Base trying to do what they can, but they've lost a fair amount of their metal. 
They've lost so many metal extractors in the northwest, and inside of what should be their territory, too, come to think of it. They've taken a lot of damage, but the southwest should be retaken by them. It's just a matter of reclaim right now, and Lamadeus has been massively more efficient with reclaim. Just, Lamadeus has been more efficient with reclaim, Snuggleways has been a bit more efficient with counterplay, or with counter compositions. That's been the big thing that's been helping them right now, is that they've... They have been a bit more efficient with counters. Their attrition is actually getting really nice now, like 15% over Lamadeus. That's very slowly turning around. It was Lamadeus's favor for a while, but it is turning into Snuggle Base's match by unit counters. But even then, Lamadeus still has nearly a two times economic advantage. So Snuggle Base, they are rebuilding. I like to see that. I'm glad they're doing that. Once that's done, they should be back into a relatively decent position. They should be able to hold off any counterattacks coming in here. But the problem is that there is going to be a short timing after they rebuild their economy, but before they manage to turn that into units, where Lamadeus is going to have a massively large army advantage. Which is going to be about two minutes, but it looks like Lamadeus is going for it now. Might be a little bit early. Lamadeus could have waited a touch. Just to get in that little bit later. But it looks like they just did not want to wait for that. Going instead for the Southwest Assault, which is not a bad idea. But this is not the time where Lamadeus would be strongest. Still, there's actually no resistance over to the western side of the map, and at the same time, I mean, Lamadeus losing their commander, but the daggers are able to get in for free. Oh man, if Lamadeus loses their commander, though, that's going to be a minor blow. It's not a huge blow. They don't have a whole lot in storage. They don't have a whole lot of... I think they might have storage for f already, just in case, for fear of losing their commander. But the commander managed to get out of there. At the same time, the dagger's coming in, doing a huge amount of damage here. Over the back of the base. Basically, nothing stopping them. Like, it's some small resistance here and there from some rogues. They are losing their numbers. I think actually quite a bit of self-damage, come to think of it. Looks like that's mostly where the damage is coming from. They're just hurting themselves, but... Same time, though, Lamadeus' commander has managed to get out of dodge and get themselves healed up. But yet again, another Southwest Assault. That's the thing, this game has been entirely about whether or not the Southwest and Northeast can hold, and Snuggle Base is kind of losing that. And this is roughly the point where I expected Snuggle Base would be the weakest. But now that these assaults have happened, and Snuggle Base has actually gotten an even greater advantage attrition-wise, it's hard to really say. But still, Snuggle Base does need to get that economy built back up. Like, right now they have... Quite a few convicts. Quite a few over to the south, actually. It looks like they're focused more on repair than anything else. Not sure why. I mean, you'd expect they'd be focused on, you know, rebuilding the economy, because Snuggle Base's economy right now is falling apart. But I think Snuggle Base just wants to tear apart Lamadeus before they... before Lamadeus builds up enough of an army. I just don't think that Snuggle Base can maintain their army advantage as much as they think they can. Like, Lamadeus' army is quite large, and yeah, like I said, Snuggle Base has had an attrition advantage quite heavily. It's just that it's not a huge attrition advantage compared to the economic difference. Like, Snuggle Base's economy is kind of going up and forth. Lamadeus' static economy is way stronger than Snuggle Base's. Snuggle Base with Reclaim can kind of get parity and occasionally an advantage, but basically just parity with Lamadeus. So Lamadeus right now is still in a massively stronger position, military-wise. They're taking advantage of it again to the north. Those maces are... Once again, being a thorn in the side. Rogue's still doing a fine job, though. But yeah, it's like... This is what I mean. Lamadeus can really easily attack on both sides. Snuggle Base is kind of relying on putting their forces on one side or the other in order to win these engagements. Still, Snuggle Base has managed to rebuild most of their economy over in their base, but Lamadeus, not so much in threat. Like, they, don't, they have the Northeast pretty well theirs, although it looks like there might be a bit of a turnaround here. These rogues shouldn't last too long. The southwest is definitely Lamadeus's. I'm a bit surprised that Snuggle Base didn't actually go in and, well, first off, build more roaches. That'd be a huge thing. But also, I'm a bit, I'm a bit surprised they didn't actually just like build up a couple Stardusts or roaches or something over here, and then just focus on rebuilding their economy. Expect a timing attack from Lamadeus when Lamadeus realizes, well, I have a really strong economy. I can probably go in when Snuggle Base is weak. Like, Snuggle Base is going to be focusing on rebuilding their economy, not so much on building their army. They're going to be really weak then, which I think Lamadeus did do, but I don't know if that was expected. At any rate, Snuggle Base does have that Stardust. 
does have a really strong reclaim position, too. And does have enough... Oh, there's the character. goes nice. Does have enough build power in their main base to make use of all that reclaim. So this is exactly what I was wanting to see about, well, 10 in-game minutes ago. But it's not really what I expected to see this late in the game. I mean, really, we're half an hour into the game. There's no Strider Hub. There's no Air Factory. There's no... Really, anything other than a bunch of shields. Like, we've been basically watching the same set of engagements over and over with slightly larger armies every time. And still, Snugglebase is winning by attrition. They are still getting the counters up. We aren't seeing a whole lot of daggers to be used against the rogues. I mean, it's kind of difficult to set that up, because Snugglebase does have a strong position when it comes to countering daggers. The Penetrator's not a bad idea. But even then, all these other units are pretty heavily countered by rogues. Halberds would be another one I'd use, actually. I think halberds are a better option. Daggers are all right, but halberds... There we go. Now we can see what I was talking about. Halberds are going to come in here, and they're going to completely wreck face. Assuming they don't kill their own daggers. Like, that's the one problem. They're getting in each other's ways. Never mind, we aren't going to see anything. But yes, that's... Halberds are what I would expect to use. I mean, 240 against 120. Like, it would take a lot for the halberds to really win that in terms of cost. But considering that daggers are not doing a great job, it's like, daggers are alright, but enough numbers and the rogues can just hit them in advance. Oh, game speed's currently at 1.5. So... Actually, I might slow it down a bit just to show the game as it has started to engage again. But yeah, at this point, Lamadeus, I like the use of the halberds, that's a pretty good choice. Same time, though, the southwest here, I mean, the halberds are the only things that are going to be able to survive this. The rogues will be able to get rid of basically everything else. And the outlaw, finally we're seeing that, seems to have died pretty quick, but still a very nice touch. And this is what I mean. Like, Snuggle Base is just with the rogues managing to deal with all of these daggers, or all these hovercrafts in general. I'm just, I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen any thunderbirds. Just to deal with all these rogues, just to stun them all out and go in. Why not? Why not Thunderbirds? Or any fact switch for that matter. Or a Dante. I mean, <laughs> Strider Hub time. It's been. If people have had like 40, 50 metal per second pretty consistently for the last 20 in game minutes. So I'm not really sure what to expect here. All I know is that it's Snuggleways finally getting some attacks in, but this is still a suicide mission. Like, these have been happening a lot. Snuggleways has been doing suicide missions to break apart Lamadeus' army. They have the attrition advantage to deal with this, but they don't have the economic advantage to make it work. Really, like I said, this entire game has been Snugglebase being more efficient with their trades, but less economically powerful. And the, the attrition has actually kind of equaled out the economy advantage at this point, so it's relatively even. But that has to be maintained, and Snugglebase might be losing a lot of that attrition advantage right now. Losing a huge amount of rogues. The one big thing working for them metal-wise is that hovercraft units are quite expensive. Especially the ones that are in the main lines of Lamadeus' army. Like, they are really expensive. But they're also... still what Lamadeus can afford, because Lamadeus still has that much more money. They're currently falling apart, economically speaking. But in terms of territory, it's still working out really well for Snugglebase. Sorry, for Lamadeus. Like, Lamadeus has has had more territory. They just lost the southwest, yes. But I don't see that being retaken by Snugglebase very quickly. Like, Snugglebase still has to kind of maintain their own... their own region that they kind of have control over. They're not going to be easily able to maintain control over other parts of the map. Not without being able to get that economic advantage from the Reclaim. And most of the Reclaim has been taken. A lot of it left is actually in Snugglebase's territory. Or near enough. So Snugglebase still doing a decent job with the Reclaim. But it's not doing a great... It's not doing anything massively effective. Like, it's still behind Lamadeus. That's the thing, this entire game. And I just want to see some breakup of things. There's an air factory! Hey! Talking about breaking things up a bit, there's an air factory. Hopefully we'll see Thunderbirds, possibly Wyverns at this at this economy. We might see that, actually. Not sure what Thunderbirds will be really used. I guess to stop the Halberds from doing anything. 
Not actually sure what we'd see. Ravens would get rid of the Penetrators. Thunderbird! There we go. Yep, that's exactly what I expect. I mean, Thunderbird is the meta. That's what people use. It stuns things out, and the ground forces can mop them up. That's the whole point. So, that makes sense. I mean, they've already been using Rakitus quite a bit, and that's basically the same idea, just the Thunderbirds are a little bit more area of effect. So with that, Snuggle Base should be able to break out of this and turn this around. Going to the south side? Not going to the south side. Never mind, where's the Thunderbird going? It's got to be going somewhere. Well, at the moment, just going around in circles. Ah, okay, there we go. Get rid of... Okay, yeah. They get rid of the north side bit. That should get rid of most of... Most of this army, throughout the entire army, breaking up the northern side, allowing an opening into Lamadeus' commander, if not just going into Lamadeus' base directly, forcing Lamadeus to turn around with the army, and... That opens things up massively. Another Thunderbird strike to the southwest, and that's going to be enough to completely break Lamadeus' back. The only problem, of course, is Lamadeus is still extremely rich compared to Snuggle Base. A lot of that is reclaim, but even in static economy, it's still way better. So unless Snuggle Base can deal with all of these quills over here, which are reclaiming loads and loads and loads of resources, I don't see this easily turning around. The Thunderbird's doing a great job with the force multiplication, and that will help a ton. But mostly it is just Snuggle Base managing to have enough units because they didn't lose as many units as Lamadeus. Or at least lose as much metal as Lamadeus in terms of units. At this point, this could be it. Snuggle Base is taking a pretty strong approach to the north, but at the same time, the southern side has been broken. This is where the Thunderbird needs to go if it wants to live, and there it is going. Getting rid of this as well. That is yet another army completely wrecked by the bandits. So Snuggle Base able to take the south, and that's the part I was talking about. Once this is broken, that's Lamadeus essentially having no real army. Like, they have some, obviously. Their main base is still full of army. But they're not managing to maintain the army that they had before. And there goes their reclaim. That's the bigger thing. They lose their reclaim. <laughs> Desperate Stardust try to stop this from happening, but they lose the reclaim. That's most of their economy gone. Snuggle Base still needs a lot of reclaim to be able to build it back up from this, but I think they're not even caring. I think they're just trying to completely break Lamadeus. Not even worrying about economy, not even worrying about what's going to happen in five minutes. They want the game to be over now. And I can see that. That makes a lot of sense. However, Snuggle Base is still having to deal with all this stuff and probably would want to rebuild. I'd like to see them rebuild a little bit of economy here. Just get a few more metal extractors back here. Because they've basically taken this entire south side. Like, the counterattack is coming, but it's not going to be able to do too much. There is still the Thunderbird on the field. They can still really mess with things, and the daggers aren't managing to get a lot in. Like, they aren't actually able to move very freely from the looks of it. So yeah, I don't think Snuggle Base is worried about this because they probably figured they'd have the game. Like, they're probably, I got the game! It's done! It's over! I just completely rushed forces into Lamadeus' base, and we're done! It's like, not necessarily. Lamadeus still has a stronger economy. I mean, Snuggle Base still has, like I said, they've saved up their army, as it were. But it's still not great. It's good. It's not great. Not ideal. But it's probably good enough, actually. I mean, Lama Deus losing yet another fire base, losing yet another chunk of their army, and not really losing a lot of economy, but still not making that economy work as well. The Thunderbird is really turning this around. And, like I said, Snuggle Base has been consistently keeping themselves in a strong position in terms of metal. Like, they have a 20,000 metal advantage by attrition. So, I'm curious what the actual metal production advantage is. I can't easily see what that is right now. I don't know how much has been produced throughout the game. We'll find out at the end of the game. But yeah, just for reference, 20,000 right now, and it's been growing since about the 20 minute mark in game at least. And this should be the northeast firebase gone and Lamadeus now their economy is surprisingly strong. I think it's mostly over oh, okay, not much overdrive. It's like 10 between overdrive and reclaim. Which is pretty good, but not ideal. I mean, where are they getting this money from? 2 3 well, that's 12 in base. Another 4 the commander. Actually, I guess that works out, yeah. Okay. So their static economy is not that strong, but then neither Snuggle Base is. At this point, neither player really has much territory or economy. This could even out again. With Lamadeus coming in here, this might be the thing that causes everything to stop being Snuggle Base's advantage. 
Like, this will give Lamedes breathing room. Which they're actually using with their commander to start rebuilding a bunch of stuff in the northeast. The commander gets enough breathing room, that could be enough, but at the same time, there's all this reclaim that just dropped into Snuggle Base's base. There's a lot of caretakers here. So, this is gonna be a lot of turnaround, or at least a lot of money being pumped in, well, pumped out of these metal wrecks and pumped into Snuggle Base's economy. And Lamadeus, at the same time, they kind of have run out of a lot of the reclaim, or at least reclaimers. For that matter, where are the reclaimers? They have three quills. Like one here, one here, and only one of them reclaiming in the first place. So Lamadeus could get this turned around with Snuggle Base's counterattack. I really want to see Snuggle Base start to reclaim some. Like, one of these caretakers, at least, reclaim. Like, there's no need to have it build. It's not helping. There we go. Perfect. No, oh, well, not necessarily. That was by coincidence. I mean, actually, we ordered to reclaim. Still, Snuggle Base does seem to be managing to get their economy roughly on par with Lamadeus, thanks to the reclaim. And the rebuilding. But once again, Lamadeus coming in with yet another set of maces. And where is that Thunderbird? Hmm. That's actually a really weird... Oh, it must have died at some point. I must have missed that. I'm surprised they haven't built another Thunderbird. That basically won them the game. Like, the reason why Snuggle Base is in the position they are is in large part because of that Thunderbird. And I realize there are flails up on the map. But still, this could be it. These maces are coming in for the kill. Like, this could destroy Snuggle Base's base. And at the same time, Lamadeus is possibly losing their base, so a bit of a base trade going on here. And Lamadeus is losing their base faster than Snuggle Base, so I'll grant that. But still, Lamadeus' base is... Actually, no, it is under more threat. Never mind, there's not much stopping it. The, the fusion plant explosion is going to stop it! Oh! Uh, why didn't you leave? It's a mistake a lot of players make. I see it all the time. People forget that fusion plants and caretakers and... Actually, quite a few things. Pretty much everything, actually, has a death explosion. But people forget about the fact that death explosions are a thing. And so you end up seeing attacks like that completely stopped by hitting something that blows up in their face. Like, Commanders, that's another big thing. Like, Snuggle Base would have had that game, or an easier time having that game, if they had both built up economy at the very end, and just not blown up, or not gotten their bandits blown up. Like, sent most of them away, except for one to commit suicide killing the thing, and then wrecked the rest of the factory and everything else there. They could have wrecked Lamadeus's base. And then swept back... Well, actually, they would have had to get a Thunderbird as well, if they had kept their base alive, then they could have swept back and torn apart the rest of it. Like, Snuggle Base had that. That is painful. And yeah, if you look at the metal disadvantage, production-wise, there was a 25,000 metal production and use advantage. It's basically the same thing. There was hardly any excess on Lamadeus' side, or either side. So, metal use, 25k higher for Lamadeus. But in terms of attrition, it was about... 19k. So Snuggle Base still was 6,000 metal behind with the economy, even with the attrition, ultimately. And the point where it looks like that was about 20k, it looks like that was about 20k. So it was at best even. Like, Snuggle Base did a great job keeping themselves with a unit value, or units... I lost a lot of units. Actually, unit value is still Lamadeus' advantage. Like, Snuggle Base managed to maintain a decent enough position in terms of unit value and in terms of unit abilities, because it's basically not a matter of cost. It's a matter of it was the right counters. Like, it was still really efficient. But it's just that that's... There wasn't enough economy behind it. Lamadeus is way faster on the reclaim and way faster on getting everything rebuilt when they needed to. And Snuggle Base didn't seem quite as keen to get that rebuilt. I still think they had that match. I, th I still think if this counterattack was stopped, if another Thunderbird was on the field, could have just stunned everything out and then have a bunch of units come in and deal with it, like some defensive units come in and deal with this stuff, then Snuggle Base would have saved their base, gotten rid of Lamadeus' base, even with the suicide and the fusion plant, though that was a huge mistake. Even with that, then this Lamadeus' base would have been wrecked, and Snuggle Base would have been in a very strong position to take the game. But I can imagine after 40 minutes, that would be a little bit difficult to do that. Anyway, that was that. So the next match tonight is going to be a match between... Actually, a 3v3. Lamedeus, North Chilean G, and Mr. Casanova against RAR, Snugglebase, and Catastrophe on Red Comet. 
So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes. <laughs> 